about me, Pablo. I just want to do a quick shout out for Chris with his girlfriend B. I know you're watching this video, so uh, thank you very much. I love you. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do a pets at home haul. I am Carl Little. This is Chelsea, my accomplice. Hi, I'm Chelsea. <laughs> I don't know how you introduce your videos. That's a Ben. Hi, shout out to Chelsea. Hello everybody, welcome back. So in today's video, we are going to... We are going to be doing a Christmas Pets at Home haul. So we went to Pets at Home the other night and got lots of Christmas goodies. So some of these are for Pablo's Christmas, so we're going to have to put them away while we show you because he's not allowed to see because Santa's real. But some of this stuff we're actually going to give him beforehand, so we'll just kind of go through it and show you everything we've got. So we've just been through... So we've just been through the bags and kind of separated out into two piles of what we're giving him for Christmas and what we're giving him now. What we figured is, because it's all Christmas themed, we're all going to give him it basically all before Christmas because if we give him it for Christmas, then it's... Pointless. Yeah. So we'll start off with clothes because clothes are... A necessity. <laughs> yeah. So we'll start off Christmas themed. Look at these. Little Jimmy. Oh. <laughs> sorry, oh sorry, sorry Charles, sorry. So yeah, we've got these pyjamas, they are a medium, in case you're wondering pug sizes, which is very in between a small and a medium. A medium's are kind of like too long, but a small's too tight. But we've got a medium because he'll grow into it. So obviously little legs. And a little tummy bit. So literally the only bit that hangs out is his booty! And then we've got... <laughs> This as well, which is a moose jumper with said moose ears as well. So like, if that's Pablo's face, they're like rah, 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 rah. So personally, I bought this. Chelsea wasn't in on this, but I really wanted this. The reason I wasn't in on this, I love a Christmas Hello, jumper. I love Christmas, I love Pablo, I love Pablo with jumpers, is because I've you're gonna see where this is going. This is Pablo's colour, so it just looks like he's got the markings etched on him. If it had been red, perfect. Festive Christmas, ba -bam. It's beige. So it looks like he's just got antlers on. You don't understand, Chelsea. <laughs> so although this is Christmas themed, we do think of Pablo's safety at all times. So, Ta -da. we've got my high-vis jacket because obviously the light at the moment is non-existent we come home we walk him in the dark and that's that so we want him to be as safe as possible so we'll give him a full high-vis jacket and the reason why that's going to be really helpful is because somebody who likes to walk him every night also likes to fully dress in black so carl won't get hit by cars then so amazing and um, we also got him well i chose this yeah, a little led light up bone so this is really cute, it clips on this harness and it flashes. Unbox that Chelsea! Unbox it! Da, 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 da. So you can't really see it too much here, but it flashes right, bright red. So you're definitely going to see him, it's not like rave dog. So da, that da, combined da, da, with that, da, da, da. well no one's going to hit him, that's for sure. In terms of what else he actually had at Pets at Home, they had like Santa hats with little like Santa beards, they had... Woolly hats. Woolly hats. Scarves. Yeah. Antlers. Yeah. There was loads of stuff. Snowmen costumes. There was so many different pajamas, different colour, like knitted sweated shirts and sweated shirts, sweatshirts and it stuff was... like that. We'd have loved to get a lot of it, but the problem Pablo's got is because we wash his face and that all the time, he doesn't like us going near his face. So you put a hat on him, he hates it. He's got no, his ears don't really hold anything on either, so it just either becomes a beard hat or it just flings off. So... Right, I'll pretend to be Pablo and you put a hat on me. Okay. And then the hat would be here. Because the people need to see that. What we're going to show you next is something we got for Pablo ideally for Christmas, but then when we got home we realised we can't really give it to Christmas because no. Lincoln back before, it's a Christmas toy. It's going to be over after Christmas. So, But we got him a gingerbread man. So cute, so cute. But it is a tough and squeak 
ginger red man as well there so if you feel it it's like rock hard because even though he's small pablo will destroy anything he can do so we're going to do a little bit of a, a toy cull as well there get rid of uh -huh. some of the, mm -hmm. his old stuff he can have a giant ginger red man so for a future video that will be we're going to go through all the toys we've got him all the ones he doesn't like the ones he does like and then if you were getting a pug or have a pug you'll kind of see the similarities or if you're going to get a pug you'll know kind of what to buy and what to avoid hello so ah. This is why I don't like doing videos with you. <laughs> so drop in the comments down below and just tell Chelsea to go away. <laughs> no! <laughs> so these next toys and um, these next... These next items. These, I thought I was gonna <laughs> <laughs> these next items. So these next things we're actually going to get him for Christmas and physically wrap up for him. Um, we have got him other presents before and in a future video we will show you all the presents we've got him because Chelsea's mum and dad have decided to steal the thunder and buy everything that we were going to buy for him and now we're struggling to get stuff. Although we still managed to spend like 100 quid, so. Very generous though, Sharon and Paul, very generous. We're not, we're not dissing you. I'm dissing you. <laughs> I'm not really. As long as it saves us spending money, we're not too bothered. Except it didn't because then we spent even more on toys and things, so. Yeah, we just wasted money on random stuff. Never wasting money. Cool, so the first thing we got was this. I'll try not to move it too much while I talk. It's a little reindeer toy, but um, it's got a crinkle in it rather than a squeaker because Carl hates squeakers. I hate squeakers. Because Carl will go on the Xbox and Pablo will just squeak, squeak, squeak constantly. So. So you just be you just be sat there minding your own business. And it's just. Uh, it's continuous, he just won't stop because he knows it gets your attention. So, this is the first one. This is a little Rudolph. Next, we got him some snowballs. Guess who chose not, these? Not actual snow. These are like cotton wool balls with little squeakers in. So even though we just said we didn't like squeakers, because it's right in the middle, he won't be able to get to the squeakers. No, he won't be able to squeak that as much because it's quite hard to get him because his mouth's so small. He'd only be able to like nip the side rather than... He'll still probably squeak it, but I just kind of want them to throw at him. But he loves socks. These feel like socks. We might be onto something. Christmas booties! Because everybody needs Christmas booties. And also because dogs in socks is the most hilarious thing ever. We will definitely, definitely be filming that because 10 out of 10 it'll be hilarious. The thing is as well, our kitchen floor is very slippy. <laughs> so if he's wearing socks on the kitchen floor when they do that stupid walk where they do like that sort of thing. Okay, so everything I've just said, just ignore. It'll still be a stupid, but he's just not gonna hurt himself. Disclaimer. A hairbrush. So we purchased Pablo some different types of brushes when we first got him, but obviously we didn't exactly know what his coat was gonna be like. Um, but now, after living with him, we know that he's got a thick coat and needs brushed quite a lot. So we got him a more intense comb there. He's gonna be beautiful and glamorous. So the thing with it was, when we got the original combs, we kind of got like, Two variants to kind of do two different things but because he was a puppy they do have obviously sensitive skin well now he's a bit older and his skin's a bit tougher we decided to get him like a proper brush to really get that like excess hair that he has out so any pug owners out there soft brushes when the puppies and then you can move on to the better stuff when the skin's nice and not sensitive words with carl <laughs> words man. We were gonna buy him some pedigree, like dent sticks and denter bones, only because he does enjoy to have like a hard treat to chew on. It keeps him quiet as well, which is amazing for but us. But that he can eat. But he well. can eat it as well. So it is like a biscuit for him and a treat for him. So we were gonna get some of those. However, we overheard one of the really helpful colleagues in Pets at Home saying how they actually have a lot of sugar in them, which is not only bad for their teeth, but it also means that they can gain weight easy off them. It makes them hyperactive. So it doesn't actually calm them down at all and she recommended these. So these are natural chews. They're like, for example, the green one is just like dehydrated peas and the orange one's like dehydrated carrots. Not sure what the beige ones are. If you know, comment down below. But um, these were only like 49 pence as well. So they're not much at all. And they keep Pablo quiet for like half an hour. At but least, at they're, least. Yeah, at least. But they're really good, not only for him to entertain him, but also for his actual health as well. So we've got him some of those. So Christmas Day, you can... You won't have them all. You won't have them all. But, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, oh. but no, Christmas Day and Boxing Day and Christmas Eve when we're watching a film, he'll be able to have a little stick. And while we're in pets at home, 
he decided to steal one of them out of the basket because obviously the baskets are squares and they're long sticks and one fell out. He decided to take one. Okay. That was me really demonstrating the basket. <laughs> so he decided to have one. If you've seen his Instagram post, you know exactly what we're on about. And last, but certainly not least. Carl, help me. I'm not focusing. There you go. So we got him some Christmas treats. So these are turkey, cranberry, thyme and cinnamon flavoured. Four dogs and they are Lily's Kitchen again. So that's obviously if you've seen previous videos, if you haven't, go and have a look. That's his food that he has. These are his biscuits. They're like basically all natural. So, because I wanted to get him some Christmas treats and Christmas like dinner and things like that. But when you actually have a look at it, Carl was like, whoa, whoa. I could be better eating the tin than the food. <laughs> so, Carl let me settle and get him these little Christmas treats <laughs> that we can use. He might have a few on the run up to Christmas. I haven't 100% decided, but either way. So, we got him these. And they look like a little cracker. Where Dance break. Dun, 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 and that is it guys, that is everything that we got from Pets at Home. Like Carl said at the start of the video, we are going to do a full what we got for Pablo Christmas haul. So we're not going to repeat this, but you'll get to see all the other bits we've got from different shops. But that was everything that we got from Pets at Home. And you can hear how grumpy he is because he wants to know what's in the bag. I think he's tired as well. I think he's sucking. He's tired. But yeah guys, we hope you liked the video. Slightly different one, obviously not as much Pablo, but we can't really show you it with Pablo, so... That's just how it was. So if you did like the video, then as always, do drop a like. Drop your comments down below. Let us know what you think. Let us know what you bought for your dogs or anything we should buy for Pablo that we haven't maybe thought of. What is that noise? So go subscribe if you're new because we'll be doing more hauls, more videos of Pablo and there's lots of exciting stuff coming up, hopefully, because we've got some videos planned and there's going to be a lot of Christmas ideas and stuff coming your way. So, yeah. Peace, Peace out. out. Thank you.